Oh, I'm trying to hide my little messy kitchen. I'm trying to hide everything. Oh, good evening, everybody. I have just had the busiest day. Absolutely. So I was off, went off to my mahi today, and I was week, 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 week. And then I had an invitation to go to a, um, a function this evening, which we were talking about Māori um, capability and Māori progression in the digital age and what does that mean and how does that digital um, how does that digital world look in regards to Māori? It was really, really awesome. So there were some great business leaders that were there tonight and it was wonderful. So it was really good. Then I came home, then I had to go and do the shopping and now I'm home. I put my loaf in the oven, went off into the shopping and now it is cooked. It's a little bit little bit pale on top, but that's because I normally would um, just cover it with with olive oil. But anyway, before we start, um, one of I, I want to do our cutter care. So we do our cutter care. Um, I, I love talking to you. It's wonderful. Okay, tua to wairua, tua to tinana. Kia hono te tinana, kia hono te hirina tangata, kia hono ki te kairua, amene. So, um, our bread. So I'm going to show you our bread. I'm just going to kind of move you up a little bit, just a little, little bit, just to um, see whether or not we can just push you up there just a little, little bit. Yeah, I think that looks cool. <sighs> Firstly, sorry, I'll just, so I have your attention. Firstly, every single person that has been on this journey with me for the last seven days, so proud. Absolutely. I've seen some awesome photos. Um, I'm just so, so proud. So you know what I would like you to do next? I would like you to... Maybe take a little bit of your bug and put it in a jar and give it to somebody. Just a little bit. I gave some to my dad last night. Oh no, not last night, on Father's Day. So maybe you do that. So we're, so we're paying it forward. You know, paying it forward. Or make a loaf and give it away. So you're just paying it forward. That would be really cool. Um, the other one is, is that it would be um, help somebody to, to make the rewena. I love it. I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. So I've, the couple of questions that I've had today, um, one of them is from one of the sites that I post up my my um, kōrero and my teachings. And so they were asking me whether I could go live on those sites instead of coming off my Facebook um, site. As they said, they called it a business site. Um, this is not my business. Um, I love what I do. It's just something that I love. Um, whatever opportunities come up from that, uh, opportunities that come from that. But um, in regards to teaching people to make their winner, I am just an apprentice like everyone else. It is something that I wanted to learn. Um, when I was talking to my father on Sunday, I said, where are the aunties, Dad? I said, who's making the rewina now in our whanau? I said, it's just me. That's it. All my aunties, my Auntie Laura, my Auntie Moore, you know, my Auntie Malami, you know, my Auntie Mate, all them, all our aunties that were famous for their rewena are now no longer with us. So it's just, you know, in our no, it's just me. So I have an obligation to, to learn how to make this, our beautiful Māori traditions, and I have an obligation to pass that on. So I do give this from my heart. Absolutely. And I know that the universe will then look after me because of that. However, the reason why I record from my own site and, and spread it to other sites, it's because this is my intellectual property. So I freely give of my time um, this is not my Rewena recipe. This was given to me from someone on our Kai Māori site. Um, so I am very, very honoured to to have that. But uh, but the 
the videos that I post and when I talk and the research that I do into some of our traditions um, and other, that is my own intellectual property, so that is why. So I may not be, there may be some sites that I, that I won't be able to broadcast from anymore. And code to pi, that's fine. Um, and I'm happily just going to release it from mine, so that's okay. Uh, I do have a little job, and it is just a little job. Um, I work uh, for a Māori organisation, and my role is to, at this present time, is to grow their sponsorship for their annual conference. So it's something that I really enjoy doing. This is what I love. This is my passion. Um, and, and as I said before, whatever opportunities come from this will be opportunities that come from this and it will be passed down through, through the Atua to me. But I, I feel I have an obligation to, to teach, to empower people to be able to, to still make some of our beautiful traditional loaves and also I'm studying doing artisan bakery as well with other, um, and, and it's something that I love and it's something that I want to pass down. So that's fantastic. Now let's get to my bread. Okay. It didn't rise as much as my normal loaves do, but you know, that's okay. And the other thing I think you need to, to realize is that it's a new bug. Okay, what I did do afterwards, so there it is, what I did do afterwards is I, I this is my bug, is I um, put my master bug into this bug here, and I just chucked a, um, a cup of flour in, because I still want to grow it, so I just chucked a cup of flour in, um, tomorrow I'll probably put some sugar in it and another cup of flour, um, and then the next day probably put some potato water in there as well. Okay, we were really aggressive growing this, but seven days is the absolute minimum that it takes. So give yourself a couple of weeks, keep on feeding your bug, looking after your bug, loving your bug, talking to your bug, and it will it will grow. And like I said, take a little bit of it, put it in a jar and give it to somebody who may um who may you know, not feel as confident as you have from the time that you've had and what you've done. So that would be wonderful if you could do that. I would be so, so proud. So you're kind of passing it on, pass, kind of pay it forward. And I know that when you pay it forward, then you are paid tenfold. So my loaf here, I'm going to flip it out. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut some off at the mo at I'm going to cut a quarter off a half and a quarter and then I'm going to take um, half of it to work tomorrow there's only, I only work with one other person or a quarter and I'm going to give it to him to take home to his whanau and then the other half I'm going to give to City Mission actually I want to drop it off on my way to work because I make bread all the time, so, and I'm just going, can't, you know, eat it all. So there we go, here we go. There it is. So that's a pretty caramel looking um, crust on there, don't you think? God, this smells so nice. So, so this, so what I'm going to do with this, see you look. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get a damp I'm going to put a little bit of water on my tea towel I'm going to put this on a rack and then I'm going to put this over there and that will make sure that the crust is still nice and crunchy but not tough so I'm going to do that oh this smells so nice mm. no, naughty me wants to um, slice it up slather it slather it in butter and golden syrup but no 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 maybe i might hop a quarter higher maybe put have a quarter here take a quarter to it for my colleague and the other half will go to city mission um so thank you thank you thank you everybody who's been participating in this it's awesome isn't it it's been loads and loads of fun 
um i'm gonna load i've loaded everything up on my on my facebook page and my youtube channel and the reason why i've done that is that people ask me for the videos and i wanted to have it in a place that people can go through each day so now we've done gone through a whole course so that'll be that'll be that's absolutely fantastic uh the next one that i want to focus on um i'm not quite sure yet i thought i might focus on dumpling you know just something completely different uh yeah so we'll just see how that goes but thank you again thank you thank you um i just it's been wonderful and i feel absolutely privileged to have been teaching people how to how to do this it's fantastic poor maria fano oh wonderful